In this video, I'm going to show you how to make use of the modifiers that we just learned in previous programs. So what we're going to do is we're going a uh, we're going to program a simple adder or a simple uh, counter. Okay. So we're going to have a counter that counts from uh, let's say zero to that counts from zero to let's say fifteen. And what we're going to do is I'm going to initialize some of these registers. I'm going to move basically. In this case, I'm going to actually move zero. I, I think I just need two registers, actually. Um, I'm going to move zeros to both of them. And what I'm going to do here, uh, as you probably have programmed in other languages, uh, I'm going to add, let's say, the uh, I'm going to increment R2 by the value of one. And then I have to repeat this so many times based on a condition. And that condition is, if this register um, reached the, the value of 15, then I'm going to stop. Um, actually, let's start even with a simpler one. Let me just initialize one register here. That's all I need. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare the value in R1 against the value of 15. And I'm going to increment it if it's not equal to 15. Otherwise, I'm going to incremented and repeat right now the uh, the question is how would i branch back how do i go from uh, this notation or from this instruction back here uh, there is a way uh, that oops there's a way that we can do this uh, by giving this line a label uh, let's call this loop for example and we can branch to that loop using the instruction b so B is a branch instruction. It will branch to a certain area, and we can designate the area, or we can tell it where to go by saying "go to that label." And if we do it this way, so uh, let let me show you what happens. There's a mistake here. Um, so this instruction is going to loop or branch back to loop over and over and over again indefinitely. So we need to fix it. And I'll show you what we can add to make it stop under a certain condition. So let's come down here, execute the code. I'm moving zero to R1. I initialize it to zero. I'm comparing R1 to 15. R1 is actually not 15 yet. So this increment should, or this add instruction should work. Here we go, I got my first one. And then this branch instruction, just a B, you branch back to this label. So you're going to compare it to 15 and add one if it's not equal to 15 and so on. So you keep, you keep you know, repeating these instructions over and over again. And you can see here um, the counter is actually uh, adding one to R1, right? So now we have five and then it's going to be six and so forth. But if I keep running, it's going to run indefinitely and I'm going to continue to add into this register. Uh, let me show you even if we run it maybe for a couple of seconds here. And uh, it's going to go back to this compare instruction. It's not going to execute the add. So you see that it's capped at 15. Nonetheless, the code is actually continued to run. So if I put another breakpoint here, it's going to keep running into this add instruction. So the way we can branch back to a, a label under a certain condition is the same way we execute an instruction under a certain condition by adding the modifier. So here, instead of just unconditionally branch back to that loop, we only branch uh, if the CBSR is not equal to, or, or if R1 is not equal to 15. So there's, this, is a, this is one way to do it. There's another way, um, but this is just, just, a, just one implementation of this. Uh, however, I wanted to specifically mention here that this comparison, and the way that I did it here is also, I wanted to mention that this comparison instruction updates the CPSR, and then every instruction afterward that reads the flags of the CPSR will make use of this comparison. So if I have, let's say, a few lines of code down here, um, and then I have another instruction, let's say it's a subtract if uh, EQ, right? 
And then this instruction will, let's say, this is just very hypothetical, like R3 subtract um, R2 from R3 stores the result back into R3. Um, this will execute only if the EQ or the, uh, the the Z flag is set. Now, where is it getting this uh, Z flag? It's going to look at the CPSR, and that CPSR is only updated from this comparison instruction. Okay, so even after so many lines of code, if no one else updates the C updates the CPSR, whoever updated it last is the instruction that's responsible for the flags, right? So just keep that in mind. Um, and uh, that's why sometimes instead of just keep doing the comparison, uh, we do the S here and then uh, we can do another instruction here instead. Or we can change the way this loop is working, okay? Um, and uh, that's it. This is a simple loop in assembly language um, that counts from zero to 15 and it will branch back uh, basically repeatedly to adding one until 15 is reached and then it you know breaks out of the loop and thank you for watching